Hey everyone, this is the the team here back from your video. Today we're gonna to be having a look at the EGEL's modified Earth Science RPG kit. For those who don't know, um, Earth Science RPG kit V2 has been around for over a year now, and Orient has been around for a year now as well, which I find pretty crazy. However, though, there's recently been a new RPG kit that has been turning up and that has been surprising people. And I had a one, and he, he, he suggested me to make a video on this. And by the way, thank you, Joe, for the suggestion. And we're going to be looking at into this kit and seeing the cool stuff it has and stuff like that. So that being said, let's have run it. Before we begin, if you guys are just trying to like, pause for comment like this, then please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on bell on the channel. But you also not miss you. If you like, pause for comment like this, be sure. And that being said, let's run it. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to get started. So I guess first things first, put everything in their positions. So before we get started, I just want to say, um, for those, in case you guys wondering, you might hear, might have heard, um, you might have heard, uh, you might have heard the name EGL be spread around before back in 2021 or 2022 or anything like that. Yeah, um, he's been around for a long time. He's made The Last Chance 2. He's worked with Lord Zephyr and the Lords of Multiverse. And, uh, yeah, I'd say he is, um, and he has, uh, he has somewhat of, he has somewhat of a controversial history, but, um, but nonetheless, um, this is the, but nonetheless, he, um, he seems to be pretty chill in some cases, so, yeah. Anyways, let's hop right in it, so, yeah, so let's get to it. So basically, EJ, so basically, we're just gonna do the usual thing and just, uh, make this kit, so. Let's see what EJ has in store for us. So basically, every, all we have to do is put all these in here and make sure you polish everything, so. That's right, you're gonna start a GUI, you go into sort of storage and all that stuff. You may be wondering what this kit has that that Orient's RPG kit doesn't have. Well, it's actually pretty, it's actually different than you think. It has a lot more, um, it's more mod it's more simpler, but at the same time, it has a bit more, um, jazz in it, I don't know. It's more so to say that this thing is a bit more secure than many people, or I've been hearing that some people have been saying that it's been, that's more secure than Orient's and Eversign's RPG alone. And, we, and with the with the rise of Executors coming back again after nearly, after nearly a year, um, of course, things are, of course, people are going to want to find ways to protect, protect themselves from exploiter, or protect their games from, protect their game from exploiters. And this is where this kit comes in. So, yeah, not only does this kit also involve this, but also has a couple other things too. For example, it has its own range of mobs. And it also has mobs with mesh parts. So basically, you can customize mesh parts to your liking. Basically, it has a drop, of, it basically has a drop of RPG kit mobs. So, yeah, um, that's pretty cool, and you can also use this if anything else. They also have their own custom leaderboard, so that's pretty cool too, I guess. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot more to it than what meets the eye, but um, for now on, we're just gonna get straight into it. So, yeah, um, let's start things off with moving these. So we're gonna start. So before we get into making the kit, we're just gonna go and publish the Roblox, get, get plus game to Roblox, and go into my game, and we're going to publish it into the, a game that I was working on with earlier. Just to show you that it works. So yeah, much like Orient's RPG, it does have mana, it has magic, it does have consumables, it has potions, and everything else like that. So yeah, um, apparently from what I heard, there's been some beef about um, RPG, about which RPG gets better, and many people are saying, oh, it's Orient's, or oh, it's Aristotle, or Aegeus. I mean, personally, it's every RPG has its own difference and stuff, so yeah. But what, what I will say, though, is that um, he has, there have been a bit more... Um, there has been a bit more um, controversy about them stealing from, or having Orion's ha having Orion's being stolen or Orion basically copying his stealing code from our creators and not creating them. I'm not sure how truthful this is. I'm not sure. I, I don't know honestly. So we're just gonna have Brian it. So yeah. So and we also there's also another feature here which basically includes um, stacking as well. So you can stack your own mob. You can you can basically stack um what is this like you can you can basically stack uh. Stack weapons and all that stuff, so that's pretty cool. There's also men as well, and it does, and what, and it basically makes this, it makes, it make, and this, and the mana and the effects and all this stuff make Orion's RPG kit look a lot different. It's, it's different. I gotta say, I like it. So, yeah. Um, moving on. As you can tell, that it doesn't really. There is a mana MP system now, so pretty cool. Um. And, you get, and if you don't like the UI, you can change it too. There is a way you can change that. Give me a second real quick. Let me just kill this guy real quick if I'm able to. Come on. Oh, oh seriously? Okay, screw it. Goodbye, goodbye. So long, sucker. Okay, so you can clearly tell there's a there's now like a... And there's also global drops as well. 
So there's global drops, there's a lot. So we're just gonna hop right now and show you what more info on is on uh, as time goes on. So yeah, also you guys do, I'll also add an EGIO or RPG kit section into this where basically EGIO, I'll also add like an EGIO, like I'll also add like an EGIO RPG kit um, section into the RPG game resources in my server. So if you guys wanna have more, so if you wanna have any help there, or just want resources there where you can find a kit and uh, FAQs and probably um, other stuff like that, like for example, like you know, add-ons and stuff to this kit. Then I'll be more. Then I'll probably add them as well. So who knows? Anyways, that being said, um, let's get to the mock config now. The mock config has uh, the or Ginga fig. Ginga fig has a lot of new things. So I'm gonna show you them one by one. Now, much like the max level, there's now max gold, which apparently that is interesting. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, max gold. I'm not sure why it's max gold, but I mean, there you have it. I guess. XP per level, that's something. Starter items, bronze sword, bronze armor, crossbow, druid staff, global drops, druid staff, apple, consumable so These are now global drops. These global drops are basically drops that are, are drops that are based that whether the mobs have them enabled in their in their drop section or not, they'll it'll still drop them with a percent chance. So pretty cool if I do say so myself. Then there are like classes in here as well, like magic, melee, range, much like Orion's. But they do it a bit differently apparently, which I'm not sure how it works, but they have it. There's luck multiplier, then there's a critical chance, global clear critical chance. Max damage interactions, how many times can a player damage, like, so basically, you, you can damage 20 times per 5 seconds. This is what was used in, I believe, his in my previous video, uh, or my droplets, how to, f how to fix exploits, or how to stop exploits from happening, I guess, or how to fix most exploits, so. Yeah, I guess that's probably what that's probably what this means. I guess it's basically that. So, yeah, basically, twenty seconds, twenty hits per five seconds. So, yeah, there you have it. And then there's a save time, preload time. Items can stack hit sound. Apparently, he didn't like the hate that he didn't really like the other hit sound. But so you actually have other hit sounds here. Then you got the color present. This is where you can make you can customize your color right here. So, in Ginga Fig, you'll see this thing called color present. Move to here and you'll see something like this. So let's go with monochrome, I guess. I don't know, like what, cause like why the hell not? And see what that is. And then there's also a backpack enable, I'm not sure what that is. And then there's a mod hut stat. You might have seen when I was beating up these guys, you might have seen something on the bottom below the statistics called where they where it showed their health. That's pretty cool, so there you have it. And yeah, that's basically about it there, so. Um, he also, and also, also each job did, did, did Rescript the data manager a bit, so props to him as well. Amazing on that one. Okay, so miscellaneous can drop starters mainly for old debug. I'm not sure what that means. Um, mob lines, yep, that's enabled. What's this? And then we got infinite. Oh, then we got mob collision enabled. Basically, you walk for mobs. Subset kit, kit name. So, yeah, in case you want to make your own subset, your, your own kit, it went then you can basically give, if you want to make your own kit, then, um, then you can told then, uh, you can, you can make it there and all that stuff. Basically a sub kit is basically a modified version of the kit. So basically it's current two sub kits that are currently popular right now are, um, Orient's and Ejow's. There's also a Progen, which Progen did make, but he hasn't updated in like ages. So I'm not sure if he's ever going to maybe make it, but I did hear he is going to make it again, or he's going to remake it in some way, shape or form. So that's cool. Can't wait to see how that works. Um, so, pretty cool. We're probably going to see a third re rework or a third kit soon. Or a third modified RPG kit. So, that's going to be pretty cool. So, then here's a data manager. Data manager does really nothing you really need to worry about here. So, yeah. It's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, there you have it. So, I got to say, I like it. So, um, he, I believe he modified this as well. So remain, uh, that's the simple stuff. I mean, you don't really need to know that unless you're a pro scripter, so there you have it. Server storage modules. The board library, this is where, um, oh wow, um, he's evil. Okay, uh, nice, good, good to know, Ejo, good to know. Anyways, um, this is where you will find the code for the leaderboard. So um, if you want to make a leaderboard for, I don't know, we'll say like, instead of levels, you want to make a leaderboard for like what you say, what like kills or gold or whatever, then you can put here and all that stuff. So um, this 
So there's more advanced stuff. More. So if you guys do wanna, if you guys do really want to, um, you guys do need help, then um, you guys want more info, then totally look into a server. But uh, yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyways, moving on. It, but okay. So let's move on from there. So next up is the storage UI. The storage UI has the following things: inventory mobs. You get the point. Honestly, you've seen that before. Climbing and yeah, you get the point. That's all that stuff. Okay. Let's move on to the mob and stuff. Let's create our own mob. So let's create a mob. That's basically boss. Uh, about time. Uh, we're only like 10 minutes in the video. Oh, wait, whoops, wrong one. That's why I moved it. Okay, I was, okay, so let's move. We're gonna make a mob thief called, I don't know, like, Mama Thief. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? And I guess Mama Thief, and, um, I don't know, let's just call this guy the Thief King. We'll just give him a crown, I guess. Um, let's switch up a crown, I guess. Let's switch up a crown in, uh, in service story, or something like that, and we'll give him the crown. Crown him as the new ruler of Thiefville. I don't know, whatever the hell. Or something like that, so. Oh, I'll get the point. Uh, do you count? Okay, but that's, those cats in front. That's what I usually do. I usually like to, I usually like to move it to the front. Copy that. Paste it into here. And there you have it. Let's go move this. But yeah, I may not go over everything in this kit because there's a lot to go over, but I'm just gonna go over the basics. Um, also, shops and uh, pawns. They, if you guys, if you if you've seen the, if you don't know how they work, then you, I totally recommend going into my Earth Science RPG tutorials. But basically, it, it's just so simple. Just gotta, you just gotta go to name. I've, we've done this before. I know with Orient and Earth Science kit. So you just gotta put the items in and stuff like that, so pretty simple. But anyways, moving on from there. Now, we're just gonna give this guy um, a metalish crown. Um, yeah, that'll work. Hold on, let's try and make, I wonder if I can make this a bit bigger. Yeah, this is just going to um, be a testing ground, so we'll probably make this guy into a boss later, I don't know. But, wait, where the heck? Uh, you're like, oh, here it is. Okay, let's do this, make this into metal, if I'm able to, okay. And then, we can do this, make this a um, fabric, yeah, we can do that, then do this, this, huh. do this, and then, I'm using the metal, on, I think I, okay, there you have it. Okay, we got the Thief King, even though it's not the best, but you took a tutorial, so why should I care? Moving on. So, wait, that's not the, what on earth, that's a, okay, why is it not working? Um, oh, here we are. Alright, there we go. Not sure what that's all about, moving on. Anyways, um, what you want to do is get the crown, move this guy to, can collide, make sure it's massless, and weld it. So, yeah, um, usually if you do, if you want to wear it, give them hats, you are able to give them accessories, or whatever the hell, so. Yeah, pretty cool, I guess, so, amazing, if I do this myself, so. Okay, let's go ahead and configure this guy. Um, we're, just gonna, we're gonna give this guy the Thief King. We're gonna rank him the boss. And let's go ahead and make his health, I don't know, um, 25 and damage 10. Then the XP he's gonna drop is 50. Um, yeah, he, it was currently 20 earlier. Let's do 25, and then for the, okay, and then we can just do, I guess, six for the level, and I think I should probably be it, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and test him and see if he actually works. Not sure, though. All right, then we can, then we'll have him drop a sword, too, so that'll be pretty cool, but yeah, that's the first look at the RPG kit right now, so pretty cool, I guess. Okay, um, oh, wow, oh, my lord. Okay, so clearly you can tell that this guy is working already. Now, what happens if we kill this guy? Alright, so clearly this guy ain't... This guy is pretty damn easy, not easy, easy to kill, so... But there you have it, there you have it. Also, you may be wondering if you guys are going to use new rigs. Okay, there's also one thing I do want to go over too. Uh, it's about to have a quick info, but basically, if you guys are using new... If you guys aren't using these rigs that uh, you aren't you are given, they, are, they basically are not are given in the kits. And you may notice that the accessories fall, like these guys' accessories, these guys' accessories fall, and stuff. Basically, um, if you want the rifles to work properly, you need you need to go into humanoid and make sure that the behavior called break joints on death um, is an, is disabled because that's what basically causes them to this basically causes their accessories to fall and stuff to avoid. 
So, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. All right, um, let's actually go ahead and make, so, yeah, that's basically about it, so. Yeah, we'll probably make him so later, maybe in the first episode, so. Yeah, we got, I'm just trying to get a head start before um, we have to get straight into it, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and just copy this. I'm not sure why the pirate is smiling, but, hey, I mean, we're just going to give, we're just going to give him a bit more of a depressing face. Wow, that's, we just made his life a whole lot more miserable. I feel bad now. Moving on. Okay, so yeah, and then there's portals, level doors. I think they're the same thing. Let me take a look real quick. Yeah, they're just level, yeah, there's just the usual level doors. There's really nothing new with that, honestly. Then there's this, too. I mean, yeah. So yeah, um, it's kind of basic, but I mean, if you're wanting, but if you're wanting a bit more of a safer environment, then totally would recommend this kit. So yeah, um, they have it. So yeah, I guess it's probably it, honestly. I mean, I could make, I could get started on the first tutorial, but I don't want to get too far into it. So yeah, um, that's really about it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on bell on the channel. But you also on this video. It's my project in the future. But yeah, uh, let me know if you guys want to see more tutorial lights in the future, and or what, only good guys want to do want me to see, do tutorials on this kit in the future. And apart from that, I'll be heading out. Have a good night, guys. Peace out.